All right, so in this video, I have some ASICs that I'm really actually excited to try out because this is a new model that caught my eye and Hibbit Sports sent me this pair over. Major shout out to them. Any which way, I'm excited to try these out. This is the ASICs Gel Kinsei Blast, if that's how you say it. Uh, but yeah, this is a, a pretty fantastic looking pair of running sneakers uh, that I wanted to see if I can casual. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Hey, what is going on guys? Hess here, hopefully you're having a good day out there. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you guys are already subscribed, thank you so much. And please make sure that notification bell is on. If you guys haven't used my website, Collective Kicks, I post sneaker deals over there on a weekly basis. And there is a lot of deals going on for the holidays, so be sure to check that out. This video is gonna be sponsored by Hibbit Sports. Thank you so much, Hibbit Sports, for sending these over. It was by request, I saw these available on their site and I was like, hey, do you think I could get a pair of those? Because I really am interested in checking them out. The price point on these are $180 and I'll get into the crazy look and the crazy tech of this sneaker right here. But first of all, if you haven't heard of Hibbit Sports, it's an online retailer as well as a brick and mortar. They have over a thousand stores across the US and they have a really nice app experience for you users out there as well as a reward program. But they also have a nice release calendar to let you guys know of what products are coming through the pipes. And that's actually how I found out about this model because I actually have never heard about this one before until I saw it on their release calendar. If you guys are interested in following along with Hibbit Sports, check the link in the description. It will take you over their page. From there, you can be part of that Hibbit Sports City Gear community. So here's the ASICS box. It says it's a gel Kinsei Blast. Men's sheetrock glow yellow is the colorway on it. And the size of the men's 9.5 which is my true to size. Before I dig into all the information about the shoe, my first impression is just these are really nuts in hand. They look really cool. I love the look of the midsole. First of all, it's definitely the thing that catches your eye, but the upper is one of those things that you're like, oh, okay, this is a nice upper as well. It's a knit material on the upper. It's a little bit stretchy over the toes, uh, reinforced in other areas. The tongue is almost like a, a neoprene material that is attached down halfway through and then also has some perforated holes for some ventilation. The heel clip back here is super rad. I love the look of it. It's like plastic, but it has a really nice shimmer to it. Kind of reminds me of like an 80s Transformer toy or something like that. Speaking of Transformers, shout out to Optimus and Megatron over there. So that's really nice back here, but also the liner is really plush as well. And the material that they use has a shimmer effect even for the extra padding along the heel, which is really, really welcome. The midsole has a lot of stuff going on here, but it does say FF Blast right here, which is their flight foam. And then they also do have a plate right in the middle, which honestly could be the bottom of the shoe, but then they have another entire section of midsole with this flight foam and then added gel around the shoe. So there's a lot of gel in the forefoot as well as in the heel of the shoe. And it's a translucent jade color, which is really dope. It's really sticky to the touch, but it's split in the back. And then you could see there's a nice little traction pattern on the bottom. I could see why they charged $180 for this shoe, but that price point is a little bit tough. It's out of reach for most just daily consumers. I think 150 is probably that cap point where people that really want to get this shoe for running and for all purpose, usually stop around that 150 price, but you guys leave a comment in the comment section if I'm incorrect about that. But I think that the overall package that they delivered is really, really something uh, on this shoe. Anyway, some specs from what ASIC says about the shoe. They do mention it's a road shoe and the weight is about 10.9 ounces, which is definitely on the heavier end. It says the support is neutral and the cushioning is max cushioning. The Gel Kensei Blast shoes are designed for distance runners seeking a smooth ride. They keep your mind and body energized to achieve your training goals. An arrangement of gel technology and FF Blast Cushioning creates a soft yet responsive step. After easing into the landing phase, the shoe propels you forward with a smooth transition. The midsole shape is inspired by the Samurai's curvaceous katana sword. With a P-Bax plate in the center, this feature redirects your movement forward and gives you a faster feel. As for the tech and materials, it says the engineered mesh upper provides excellent comfort and support. P-Bax propulsion plate helps redirect your runner's energy forward and create faster feel. FF Blast technology provides lightweight cushioning and responsive rebound. It also features Flight Foam Plus technology, which generates lightweight cushioning and excellent durability. Then the gel technology provides that excellent shock absorption. As for the customer ratings for fit, it says it's true to size with a little bit too tight. Comfort is on the high end and then quality is also very high. I would actually agree with that. The width is a little bit narrow in my opinion. I got a true to size 9.5. It is a little bit skinny in this section, a little bit narrow. And because of that, you don't feel like 100% supportive of the shoe. That being said, it's, it's not like a wobbly feeling shoe, but it's not the one where you're like extra overly confident, I guess. But I do wish they had a wider version for sure for myself. I thought p was a foam, not a hard plastic, but the orange here, this plate is p I guess. Uh, any which way, you have it sandwiched between two different layers of foam. And, and as you can see, it does say FF Blast, which leads me to believe the bottom layer is 
the plus mixed with the shock absorption of the gel on feet i gotta say they do feel really good it's not the most crazy softest and squishiest sneaker on the market if you want something similar in shape but just crazy crazy max soft cushion i would go with the fuel cell rebel v2 but this has a lot more stability than like the rebel fuel cell would is it overkill to add four different sneaker cushioning technologies in the midsole i mean i like the fact that they all do different things uh one the gel absorbs the shock which i think is good the uh, flight foam blast is supposed to be for the rebound and the spring back so make it responsive and obviously the light version is definitely just to cut down the weight because the foam is super heavy so the balance of the shoe is definitely back heavy so cutting down the weight was probably a good move there i still think they weigh quite a bit however that being said if you're used to wearing like a jordan retro that weighs a pound on each foot you're still doing better here with just under 11 ounces i think the overall delivery of what they made in this shoe is really nice this is one of those shoes for sure that passes the casual test you could wear this every single day just as a casual daily shoe or you could use it for a gym shoe or you could use it for a running sneaker as well although for those people that are like diehard runners this is not going to be your fastest shoe so it's going to be like a trainer but not like anything that you would go really really fast in in my opinion uh, but i'm not a runner and if you guys have a difference in opinion then obviously feel free to weigh in in the comments but from my personal perspective this is a really cool looking shoe definitely one that you can wear casually and the gel is really nice and squishy and i like to touch the gel on here i don't know why it's just maybe the you know i like to play with the slime with the kids and stuff maybe that's part of the reason why there's a sensory uh, feel to the shoe and I, I dig it i also like the split in the heel right here it looks really cool how they did that i mean this whole section from the shoe here back I just think looks really, really awesome. Uh, overall comfort, I would say would probably be like an eight out of 10. Soft squishy feel would probably be maybe like a seven out of 10. It's not, even though this is max comfort, it's not the softest and squishiest thing. Again, I would go with the fuel cell if you guys are looking for crazy soft or New Balance Fresh Foam X, another great option with that 1080 V11. And both of those are gonna be a lot cheaper than these. So if all you're looking for is comfort, then in my opinion, there's better options out there, but this is a really nice pair of sneakers that you can wear and feel really comfortable all day in. I like the tongue structure the overall style the way the heel kind of fits snug on your foot but with that really nice plush material uh, they didn't skip out on the materials in my opinion like it feels really nice there the colorways are okay they're not like the best colorways in the world i actually like this one though. i think it looks cool with the greens and the orange and the gray upper i think the uh i think the asics logo is a little bit obnoxious but that's just because it's so big on the side of the shoe it is fused on and then you have um, some extra fused materials for the laces so it's nice that they have the extra reinforcement for that but all in all i think it's on the expensive side maybe 150 would be a better price point 180 is a stretch if you're a diehard asics fan this is going to be the one that you're going to really like I've heard the Nova Blast is really good. I tried the first one. I haven't tried the second one. I wouldn't mind trying the Nova Blast too, so that might be one that I'm interested in getting because I understand that that one is actually softer and squishier on feet than these ones, but these ones offer a little bit different feel. And honestly, if you don't want that max soft squishy, this is a really good all-around pair of sneakers if you like that 11-ounce range for sneakers, which is not a bad thing. Sometimes I like them really, really light. Sometimes I like them kind of in the middle like this. And again, this could be like a daily uh, runner for those people that are interested. If you guys are interested in buying a pair, I'll link them in the description. Oh yeah, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that roller plate in the middle. It's not too much of a roller plate. It goes through the middle of the foot here, but you can see I can bend the shoe backwards right here, which means the plate doesn't go in the front. So it's not a rocker, but it does feel like a little bit of rolling motion to the toe. However, it's not so aggressive in the toe section that you feel like you're just walking on toes like this and flexing your calf the whole entire time. I feel like this is actually a perfect combination for those people that want something uh, with a roller plate in the middle, but want to be able to use it casually. This is like a nice integration for that. So between that plate, the two different types of foam and then the gel, I think it's a good combination and one that you put together and it actually makes a pretty nice, sensible pair of sneakers from a casual perspective. Anyways, if you guys want to buy a pair, check the link in the description, take you over to Hibbit's site. Thank you again to Hibbit Sports for sending them over. And if you guys want me to try the Nova Blast 2s, drop a like on this video and I will uh, consider buying a pair of those because I am curious about the technology in those and how they feel. But if you guys have tried these out as well, leave your expert opinions in the comment section and let other people know what you guys think about the product. Have a good rest of the day though. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we'll see you guys back here for some more videos and yeah, peace guys.